What's up guys, Lishiano here, and welcome back to another video. So, in this one, we're going to be talking about how Mario Cristobal is being linked to Miami, and the talks are going to be more extensive. Uh, nothing is official yet, there's been no deal made, I don't believe there's been an offer. I think there's still, I think that's what the extensive conversation is, they're trying to figure out a deal to agree on. Um... Now, earlier today, we also found out that Oklahoma is hoping to hire Brent Venables as their next head coach and bring Ole Miss offensive coordinator Jeff Levy with him to Oklahoma. I made a video on that earlier today, and I gave my thoughts on that. So if you want to hear that, please go ahead and check out that video. But as far as Mario Cristobal, um... <laughs> It, of course, for Miami, it's an upgrade over Manny Diaz. It's an upgrade, I believe. So, but, like, the thing is, I'm not the biggest Mario Cristobal fan because he's been at Oregon since 2018, I believe. I think it is 2018. But, like, he's had success there. He's had 10 win seasons. But it's just like, he hasn't really been able to get over the hump at Oregon. And it's like, he's not really, a like, he has tough, he has trouble winning the big game. Um, like this year, for example, he's number three in the country. He beat Ohio State in Columbus, okay? That's a big game. Beginning of the season, though. Beginning of the season, Ohio State was obviously... A worse team then than they are now they are they are a lot better now cd stroud has grown he's improved as a quarterback so yeah this high state is better now that win came at the beginning of the season so i just take it with a grain of salt beautiful win not discrediting it but um it's just the timing of it we've seen crazy wins at the beginning of the year all the time so but um that's beside the point. Uh, you look at this year, Utah. He was number rank. He was number three in the country. Um, you look at this year versus Utah. He was number three in the country the first time they played in Salt Lake City, and Utah runs Oregon out of the building, 38 to seven. All Oregon had to do was win that game. And then win the conference title and they're in the playoff <laughs> like that's all they had to do fast forward two weeks later to yesterday because today's sunday yesterday was conference championships uh fast forward to yesterday and utah pretty much does the same thing they run them out of the building 38 to 10. and the quarterback play for oregon has been very not good <laughs> this year so i mean they have they've had joe moorhead at offensive coordinator he used to be mississippi state's head coach used to be before that penn state's offensive coordinator um i mean their their quarterback play has just been lacking they did lose a key piece of their offense cj verdell at running back uh, they lost a lot of receivers. I think their top three receivers, maybe three of their, maybe two of their top three receivers. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I know they had injuries there. But as far as Miami, I mean, you're gonna be I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm hung up on. I don't know what to think really, because you're going from Oregon to Miami. Cristobal is going back home because he was born in Miami, so it makes sense to go back there because you're going home. Um, but as far as a head coaching job, you're going to be recruiting against Florida <laughs> now with Billy Napier. You're going to be recruiting against Florida State. UCF is about to be a Big 12 team. <laughs> um... Man, because Miami, let, let, let's not get it twisted, Miami is not the same, like, top tier program as they used to be. That's just not the case anymore. 
Now, could it get back to that point? Yes, very easily. But they are no longer like the you anymore. <laughs> like that, they're not that type of top tier program anymore. But like I said, they could get back to that. They just need a culture change. They need to start winning. They've not won there in I don't know how long. Since that year, they went what ten and three, ten and two, or something like that. Ten and three, I believe. And they were in the top four of the playoff. I forget what year that was. But that's the first time they had like any significant amount of success in a season for about as long as I can remember. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Cristobal, <laughs> but I do think it will be an upgrade for Miami over Manny Diaz. I'm sure Miami fans would be pretty happy to have Cristobal as head coach because I'm not, I don't think a lot of them like Manny Diaz. I mean, he, he's done okay. He hasn't done great. He hasn't done, like, terrible. I mean, it could be a lot worse at Miami, but... Yeah, those are my thoughts on it. I'm kind of, like, 50-50 on it. I don't really know what to think. Um, I don't know how well he's going to fit in <laughs> down in Miami with the recruiting and all that. I mean, obviously, he knows the area. So, that that could play into to his advantage. But you got all these SEC schools around you recruiting against the, recruiting the same players, man. You got Alabama, you got LSU, you got Florida, Florida State, Auburn, Georgia. You got a ton more schools than you do over, over in the uh, West Coast going for the same players that you are. And it's a, it's a different type of talent, too. So I think that could play into Mario Cristobal's favor if he can land those top, top players in the state of Florida and try to keep them at Miami. Instead of going to Florida and other places. But yeah. Those are my thoughts on this. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did please drop a like. And let me know what you guys think about Mario Cristobal. To possibly to Miami. In the comments down below. Uh, do you think it's a good move for him if he does it? Um, yeah. Just let me know. And yeah. I'll catch you guys later.